All right, I'm going to show you quickly how to make a candle uh, that you can put into a Altoids tin or you know any type of uh, tin. So I've got this uh, Champion tin. Um, it's pretty old actually. I don't know how old it is, but anyway, I'm going to make a candle out of this. Maybe a four wick candle. So what do you need? You need some sort of fuel source, being a fire, or in my instance um gas um move over this so you can get it in frame okay you're gonna need a stove so gas and stove let's connect that bad boy up okay done you're gonna need one pot and another kind of pot uh, the idea is, is to boil water in here then sit this pot on the boiled water and melt the wax inside that why I really can't tell you last time I did it when I had this on the direct flame and melted the wax um, if you get flying debris even just a little bit of uh, cotton or anything that flies in there it can ignite and uh, it did happen to me and the flames are like friggin dangerously high so uh, it's probably best to um, boil boil water in, the, in this pan and melt the wax on top of the boiling water. Um, that's what I believe. So, kids, uh, don't try this at home unless you've got adult supervision, please. I don't want you to burn your dad's shed down or your shed. So, um, all right, you're going to need a candle. Uh, I bought this from, our, um, from Ikea for $1. And while I'm on Ikea, I've got free pencils. Look at that. They weren't given to me, I just took them. Um, you know, when you go Ikea, you got like, you know, every 10, 20 meters, there's little um, things of, of pencils, you know, and pads. And I thought, okay, well, every 20 meters, I started just taking a few pencils. So there you go. I've got a nice supply of free pencils. <laughs> yeah, free, free, free. Yes, free pencils for me. Cool. Right, so anyway, that's got nothing to do with um, the candle. Um, all right, you need some water, obviously, a lighter to ignite the uh, the stove, and um, we're going to need to uh, try pull out the wick on this candle. Um, and look, it's a large candle, man, for one dollar. So I'm going to pretty much crack it in half and see if I can pull. And slowly and get the wick yep it's coming it's coming ah oh, there we go there you go got a nice wick there so I'll get my little makeshift chopping board here get my little Leatherman squirt hey squirt pretty cool little little tool here cut that um, you know get the uh, depth of that it's about there so that's the depth of the tin. Let's make it a little bit higher. All right, so let's start cutting. So one, two, one, oh, three. Okay, well, it's going to be a three wick candle instead of four. Um, that's probably too much wax, or maybe it's just enough. Anyway, let's see. That candle can be used in case the lights go out. All right, so we grab the stove. Let's get that on there. Let's pour some water in. Don't need too much water. That water isn't to a boil yet, but I am going to place this in there. Okay, and start letting that pan, that pot, heat up. You, you want to get it to a, a boil, but then you want to start to simmer the water so this thing ain't jumping around on you. And you're going to want, you know, some sort of multi tool or some pliers or a glove to pick up this obviously. and you're going to want some sort of piece of wood or something to uh, stir the wax in there so I'm going to start breaking this up putting it in there and uh, all right so you can see that milk. the wax is starting to uh, melt already which is good just mix it around 
that water's starting to boil, so I'm going to turn the heat down a bit and leave it as a simmer. You don't want that water overflowing, it will cause some issues there. It's melting nicely there, nice and slow. See that? With the wax there. You know, if you want to get funky about it, you could uh, use that um, citronella kind of wax or that mosquito repelling wax and, uh, you know, make a little candle that also repels mosquitoes. Um, I don't have any of those left, so I'm just using a plain old light, normal church candle, I guess you call it. there well, that's nearly there now whatever wax is left in there you might want to make some little fire discs um, you know using you know your mother's or your wife's or your girlfriend's uh, makeup remover wipes these make perfect fire discs so if I do have any uh, wax left in there I'll uh, I'll make some of these all right so that wax is now completely uh, melted I'm gonna leave this on the boil Okay, that's not a hot at all to touch, so that's good. I'm going to take him off, pan this down a bit. Okay. Put him on there. Move this over gently. I right, grab me a little tin. And hopefully I don't have any spillage here. I guess this is where the pliers come into play. Grab that. Pour it in. Ah, bloody hell, I spilt it all over my nice desktop review cloth or towel, whatever you call it. And, uh, yeah, okay, that'll do. Now I do have some left there, so just put that back on the ball so that it doesn't dry up. Right, move this away, put it there. Right, now you may want to let that just dry up a little bit before you start putting the wax in because, I mean, the wick in because the wick is not going to stay there. All right, now I'm going to fold. Just give it a bit of a fold because it is too high. Okay. So just fold it in that So hole. because I've got some uh, extra wax in there, I'm going to grab my clothes from my um, squirt. And just dab it into that, take it off, place it on this piece of wood. The best thing ideally is to get uh, that ba baking um, paper and putting it on a baking tray and leave it on there because the baking paper's got wax on it so this won't stick to it. I do have it, I just couldn't be bothered going inside getting it so this will just have to do for now. And just uh, soak up the extra wax that's on that pot there. Alright. Alright, made about three there, so that's alright. Didn't go to wastage. Alright, turn this thing off. Now with the three fire discs I've just made, um, you might just want to place that in the fridge for uh, five, ten minutes until it hardens up, which I'll do right now. Um, this wax is still very very um liquidy and you, again you may want to do the same thing or you know you should do the same thing place this into the fridge and let it harden up a little bit quicker but make sure you keep checking it because uh you want to ensure that that these little um wicks stay in there oh are you staying there okay hold on you may have something here one two you notice i've left a bit of height there that's all right the lid will uh squash it down Oh, booyah, come on. Are those two stuck? Why isn't this one? Okay. If you're using your multi-tool, uh, make sure you wipe that wax off before it dries up because it is a pain in the bum. All right, you might off. see the wax now going, you know, a darkish white. I want dark, darkish white. It's going, you know, creamy white. It's telling me that these wicks now should be able to sit in there and stay. Yep, they are. Alright, great. 
Excellent. Now we can either leave that to dry on the table, maybe get a fan, blow it on there, or carefully carry it to the fridge and let it dry up quicker. Me, I'm going to let, let it dry um, on the table here. Um, it is... Right, so here we have it. Um, here's the fire discs I made. Nice and hard now. Still slightly, no, well yeah, slightly warm. You may want to leave that out now. Um, you can hear that's hard, so that makes great, great tinder. Burns for ages. Burns for friggin' ages. So, got three extra discs to add to my already made discs, which is in here. I've got green ones. There you go, I've got a heap of them here. There you go. I've got a heap of uh, fire discs there. There's no need to buy these things online you know like the uh mini infernos whatever they're called and stuff like that you can make them yourself for next to nothing you know why pay 15 bucks for a pack of five or ten whatever when you can make friggin 50 of them for like maybe five bucks not even um mate make them yourself very very easy easily done as you've seen so got some extra tinder there fire discs and that's the candle Four wick candle. Okay, let's spark it up. I'm gonna use the good old matches. I miss um, using matches. I seem to just use my lighter and ferro rod these days, but matches do have their place in bushcraft or survival. So let's get a good old match happening, eh? Got heaps of uh, wicks there. I mean, yeah, wicks to make a pretty uh, bright little light. Look, oh, come on, before my fingers burn. There you go. Four wick candle in a Altoids style tin. There you go. Love it. That was in the fridge for about under 15 minutes so I'm gonna stick it back in the fridge just to make it really really hard it is hard but still um, if I really push down I could get my finger in it and the can the tin is still a little bit warm so I'm gonna stick him back in the fridge but uh, there you go quick way of making a candle in a tin I'm sure there's a million videos out there I just felt like doing it because I went to Ikea bought a heap of candles and uh, you know just tinkering and tankering in my man cave. <laughs>